some great things. Maybe people will recognize that, you know, we're all a group, and if we work together, I don't care whether you're white, brown, black, purple, yellow, Democratic, Republican, doesn't matter if everyone's working together, you know, the world could be a better place. Mm -hmm. um, what do you got there? I'm going to show you something, and I would like to, um, I, I will put it on camera okay. in, in its totality. I'm going to hand this to you, and I would like for you to tell me what you see. Um, I see uh, a picture of Obama that indicates that he's probably confused about his, his race and color. It looks like his hands are white, his head is white, so he's thinking like a white man, but he's actually a black man. Mm -hmm. Is that what that indicates? It, it, it indicates um, something different to everybody. Um, it looks like, not that his hands are tied, but it looks like his ears are tied because he's not listening to anybody. Um... He's got America almost on his shoulder, on his sleeves. Um, and he's just deep in thought, but it looks like he's, it looks like from what I can see, they, they're, they're depicting him as a, a, a black man who's got a white, he thinks like a white man. He does things like a white man with his hands, and he's got his ears tied with string because he's not listening to anybody. And I've never seen this before. Okay, I'm going to sit back then. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to cover here in a minute. Huh. What happens is, did you, did you read my newsletter? Which one? The last one. I'm not sure. She's not sure. It's my daughter. She never reads anything. I'm famous everywhere <laughs> except for my family. Can you believe it? Uh, you know, I, I do. I actually do. There's a couple that I've looked at that have been really good. Uh huh. It's just weird. <laughs> I'm going to show this to you in a little while. When this arrived in the mail, I was I was offended because I thought it was a bad imitation of a do rag. Oh no! It's what I saw. Okay. Okay. I have shown this to twenty people in the meantime because the person giving this to me um, said, "How do you get all of this from this?" One lady thought that somebody was target practicing. Oh, because of, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Somebody said, oh, well, his, uh, his uh, thing is backwards. His, uh, what do you call his it? His pin. His patriotic pin is backwards. That's true. Okay. Now, the person that sent it to me and said, how do you get a do-rag out of a mask? And I'm thinking, this is not a mask. Okay. He said, it's a white man with, with Obama's face. Well, if it was a mask... It wouldn't have the freckles. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like it's his actual face. Yeah. But it's true. It could be. I thought it was a bad do-rag. Okay, yeah, because now I see it's a mask that's tied on to. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be. But it really represents a lot. Um, but it's still it's still not a mask. Who wrote the, who wrote the movie? Uh, uh, it, is, it is a video about the Bilderbergers. And I thought it was Bilderbergers. Uh, that's a group of bankers. They, that oh, okay. goes into the okay. conspiracy category. Okay. But I found it as offensive. Mm -hmm. I love my friend, but I still do. Mm -hmm. And chances are he's never going to understand why it's offensive to me. It's, uh, what do you think? Well, I think that it's mocking Obama to me mm -hmm. and Obama as, as a black man. And I think that, um, you know, they still, you know, they say Obama's a black man, but then again you have those that say, well, you know, he's really not a black man. Like, he's confused. And the picture there is actually showing... Let me see um, if I can show it to you here. Yeah, for me, it looks like they're mocking him um, and making jest of his actions, I guess. I'm not really sure. I've never seen that film. Mm -hmm. but I, Well, I watched it three times, whether I liked it or not, because mm -hmm. I wanted to be fair. I think it's a... It is offensive. Okay, do you think you think it's on now all the way? Yeah, I think it's so. It's as close as we're going to get, okay? Yeah. I, I think it is offensive, actually. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so this is your friend? Who? That sent you that? Uh, yes, uh, okay. yes. Uh, we we very open-minded, and we look at different things, and I he didn't send it to me. Well, so you know, there's, always, there's always a line with but, friends, though. But, no, but see, that's not what he saw at all. Right. That's okay. all that's, thing. That's perception. That's the perception, so you know what the mm -hmm. new, next newsletter is, right? Um... Perception of deception. Perception, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perception. And, 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 or did, how about deceptive perception? How's that? Yeah, you, you know. <laughs> so, so, but we see. But here's the thing: we live in a time right now where people are in fear. You know, 
um, that fear the Republicans and they fear this and then they fear this and, and here come this man that's trying to unite everybody and that worries people because they don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I, I think that's the case. I mean, as far as, what is it, Egypt was the last mm -hmm. speech, you know, all of Wonderful that. Wonderful That was, I mean, that was touching all aspects of mm -hmm. the life and religion and everything and it all yeah. came in and it was fair and it was equal and um, I don't think people can understand that. So, uh, it, it, that would be the same thing if they were all thrown in our family. They wouldn't know what to do, would they? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and the, the people that come into the family, you have to tell them, hey, this is the way we are. This is the way we are. This is the way we it. do it. Uh, that might be it. the way you do it, and that's okay. You uh, know, we're okay with that, but remember that this is the way we do it, mm -hmm. and hey, come on, let's do it. So You don't have to eat our greens, and we don't want your tamales. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, no. I like the tamales. Come you down like from the my tamales. greens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, the way you teach your children how to, to deal with that, has that any way changed recently? Or? Um, I don't think so. I think it's real hard for me with all aspects of um, raising kids in the way that they approach things. And it, it becomes very difficult when it has to do with, with race because behaviorally I've always told them that if you have a confrontation, Tell someone. Mm -hmm. If you have another confrontation, you tell someone. Um, third time, uh, tell me. Tell me, and yeah. if it, nothing happens and you're in a position, uh, excuse me, but kick their ass. That's um, it, you know, yeah. and that's kind of what I tell them. But I also yeah. tell them that it takes two people to fight. Yeah, it takes two people to have an argument, and you know, a lot of times it's the it's the bigger man that can walk away. Yeah. If you can walk away from an incident, you know, and sometimes they come home, hey, you know, I was going to get in this fight, but. This is what I did differently. Mm -hmm. And you can only praise them for that because mm -hmm. there's always going to be someone there to fuel the fire. Um, always going to be there, someone mm -hmm. to fuel the fire. And, you yeah, know. Being my age, and I see everything oh. going backwards again. Oh, go ahead. Say what you're going to say, and then I'm going to say something. I don't want you to forget it. Going backwards again. Um, uh, and I don't like that we are going backwards again where we have to watch our back all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to... Take a deep breath and go forward again. Do you see us going forward after this? You know, I think that... Um, oh, you was going to say something. I was going to say something. What I was going to say is, one of the things at Reeves Middle School, one of the teachers had pull, pulled me to the side and had a meeting, and had a meeting with my son. And some people may have been offended. Um, this was a, a man, a, a black man, um, who was, um, he was a... a He's in a position where he was he was mixed, and he told my son that as a black man, he had to work extremely hard. Right. Because it's not just about being successful; it's about proving others wrong. Mm -hmm. That you, your entire life you're proving someone something. You know, you walk into the school and they're expecting you stereotypically to be the troublemaker. Mm -hmm. They're expecting you to be the person that's going to bring the school down or burn the school down or wh whatever it is. They're, you know, they expect that from you. Mm -hmm. And the way that he worded it to me while I was sitting with my son was he said, you know, being a black boy coming into the school, you may be having some behavioral issues, but those behavioral issues are going to be magnified 50 times yeah. or more because when you walk through the door, you're automatically labeled. This man um, explained that he had to work really hard. Mm -hmm. Him and his brother together um, were put in the same position. His brother chose not to be successful mm -hmm. and chose to take things differently. And you know, um, you you make that choice. And so, and and sometimes what I found is what what people think it's it's racism is really entitlement issues. Certain right. people feel entitled to be. A certain way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So I, you know, personally, I think it's just a matter of respect, one way or the other. I think that if everyone respects each other, respects their space, mm -hmm. respects their belief systems, that's okay. We can all agree to disagree and still be on the same mm -hmm. on the same wavelength, and you know, do your thing. We can work together and be even stronger, or work apart and you know, be weak. Mm -hmm. yes, so. Also, and then, and then, uh, one of the things I did put in the, the newsletter I wrote about race at uh -huh. that time was that each culture has their own their own vocabulary even and, mm -hmm. and, and we, we don't I don't want to be the same I, I want to be unique I want to be the 
see it's the uniqueness that makes us um it's our differences that make us unique and everybody should be able to to maintain that uniqueness and then just you know we follow certain rules that is set oh, up yeah, by you society know, and like i said there are certain cultural rules that you just yeah. follow regardless and you can be an individual and do all those things mm -hmm. and have your own ideas and mm, you know. so so you expecting it to get better again are you I am hoping that it gets better. I hope maybe everyone that sees this that, you know, things mm -hmm. people might understand the viewpoints that um, anyone of color has and the things that they have to endure. And I think that if they were on the other foot and, you know, people that were not of color went to a territory where they were in all colored area mm -hmm. and they were to see the way that, you know, that um, the difference of, I guess, communication that maybe they'd understand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, our time is up, but here's the thing, I, I, uh, I almost think I need to say something in defense of the homeless people. They have a really hard time too, aren't they? Um, which homeless people? All the homeless people. <laughs> uh, you, you know, they stereotype them. Everybody, oh, yeah, everybody's no. yeah, freaking and, you know, out about that's the homeless people. Another show. That's a whole other show. That's a whole other show. That's, um, okay. you know, yeah, the homeless situation is a whole other show mm -hmm. for sure. A whole other show. Definitely. For right now, we're going to go, um, and then her and I, I'm going to see if it's my daughter, so I'm probably bribed to talk a little more for some, about something else. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming. we see you next week with some kind of something. I'm looking forward. That's okay. I'll see you next week, and uh, <laughs> bye. Bye. Let's get to the front of the bus, all right? Yeah, that's where we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, to the front. Buy a car. Well, yeah, yeah, buy you know, a car. That's even better. Actually, you know, it's not even getting to the front of the bus. It's having a choice. A choice, Having yeah. a choice and just being there. Yeah, and stay out of mouth. I'll stay churned on at you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take us here and you take us there.